Hey, all you little dummies out there. This is the head, big, cold-blooded dummy. And there's little red fox. Hey, little red fox. Okay, what we got going on here today, we got all the mods that we've done to the 2021 Royal Enfield Himalayan. Alrighty, so let's just kind of take a little walk around here. So obviously we got the gravel gray. And our theme is the gray and black. So we've got mostly black accessories. All right, we'll start up front here. All right, so up on top here, we've got the tinted extra large windscreen. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And then we've got the LED front headlight. <clears throat> that's uh, those are always pretty slick, and those that's from Amazon. And then down below we've got some extra little LED fog lights, and those are from also from Amazon. Now the fog light brackets, those are from eBay from India, so those are pretty sweet, and they they mount right onto the uh, each side of the fork all right so come back coming back up here we've got the double take mirrors <clears throat> okay those are those are like a must-have because of the adjustability and flexibility of those okay and then over here we've got these cool uh, CNC levers from Amazon Okay, and then we, we do have the, um, the pro mount, so that's always nice to have. It just kind of looks cool, and you, can, you have options to mount different stuff. Um, I chose the Ram Quick Grip uh, cell phone mount, and it's got the, you know, the ball and socket, the Ram mount. And I mounted it upside down so that it kind of fits down a little bit lower. You notice there, I got it upside down. Twist, I got it rotated around. Okay, I I went with the aluminum Royal Enfield handlebars. Okay, so that's pretty slick. And then you come around over here, and for some reason these handlebars. <clears throat> They're slightly a, a, a larger diameter than the originals. So if you notice here, this is the little bypass, uh, starter bypass. Notice how when you, when you slide it down, it stays down. That's because there's friction against the um, handlebar. There's like a little plastic that rides up against the handlebar. So it's kind of a nice feature because I can flip it down and it'll stay with the choke on and then once it gets warmed up i can slide it back up so that's kind of a bonus okay what else have we done to this bike i went with the long haul extra fuel tanks and um these are 0.75 gallons so it gives you an extra gallon and a half on top of the four gallon so that's five and a half gallon total fuel capacity <clears throat> and I haven't used them yet but uh, to me it just makes the it balances out the bike because you've got the big panniers in the back and then you've got the you know the fuel cans up front so it just kind of gives a little bit of balance to your bike plus they're black and they look sick all righty down here we've got the gv uh frame guards engine guards so those are pretty slick uh i would 
I would recommend um, whatever brand you use, uh, make sure that you get the, uh, the three-point mounting uh, crash guards. Alrighty, so over here we've got the uh, the aluminum rear master cylinder protector. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. And then if you come down here, da 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 da. These are probably my favorite mods, and these are the pivots uh, Mark IV foot pegs. And these are super sweet. So if you notice, they they pivot front and back. And then they also pivot up. And this is their latest version, Mark IV, which is extra wide. And I got the gripper uh, rubber pads for the tops. And those are just held in by little zip ties. Four zip ties that hold that little rubber pad on top. Alrighty, so those, th that makes it super duper comfortable. So when you're when you're riding, you know, standing up, oh man, it's a nice platform to stand on. All right, coming to the back, we've got the LexTech muffler. Okay, so that sounds amazing, and we took the baffle out of that just to get a little bit more performance. And make it sound a little bit better okay and we've got the Royal Enfield panniers okay so that's pretty slick and let's see what else have we done to this bike dun, 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 dun. I did do the uh, the air intake um, delete with the uh, DNA air filter so that gives it a little bit more umph um, in conjunction with the LexTech you can definitely feel it it's it's maybe a horse or a couple at least a couple horsepower difference I call that seat of the pants horsepower all right I'm trying to think of what else have we done we did the uh, we relocated the the brake light and the blinkers uh, the the kit that you buy with the panniers comes with the relocation kit for that okay so I have another mod that I'm in the process of doing and I'm gonna be installing these tool tool tubes and they're gonna go up on here and I'm gonna manuf I'm gonna manufacture some tiny little brackets I'm gonna fabricate some brackets and I'll be able to install these tool tubes so I'll have two tool, tool tubes and they're gonna sit on these um, I'm gonna make a little bracket that comes up off of here and angles over so I can bolt the tool tube down to and then in the front, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make a little bracket that comes up off of here, somewhere in here, and comes up with a little tab, a mounting tab. And the idea is to get the tool tubes to line up going across so that it adds um, an extra layer of uh, of a platform so that when I when I install my my dry bag for my camping accessories um, it'll it'll just create a larger platform because uh, if you notice I left the um, the factory rear rack uh, basically intact so that's what's gonna happen with the tool tubes and um, I'll be able to carry some, you know, spare inner tubes, some other stuff, tools and whatnot in the tool tubes. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Oh, I did put in the, um, the EBC uh, 
centered uh, brake pads, front and rear. So that gives a little bit extra stopping power because they have a they have a better bite than the factory. You can't see in there, but um, I have the, just the factory sump guard. I don't plan on going and doing any major rock climbing or any kind of. I mostly got the bike for uh, cruising around, and um, I'm going to do some fire roads next year, gravel and fire roads, and uh, I'm going to take this thing uh, moto camping. So I got a 60 liter uh, dry bag to go on the back, and I've already started getting all my accessories for that so that'll be another video so that's pretty much it in a nutshell I'll do a, a cold start on this some bitch and um, so we'll f we'll flip this choke down turn the key now this bike even though I've done some adjustments to the TPS and everything um, it still gives me that um, that lovely um, Royal Enfield Himalayan uh, stalling. <laughs> so I don't know. I've never been able to figure out how to completely in eliminate that. But let's give it a shot here. Let's see what happens. Usually it takes about two to three times for it to completely uh, warm up and, and stay running. Uh, let, me, let me move these tool tubes out of the way so they don't vibrate and fall off. All right, red, fire in the hole. Okay, there's the first stall. That's typical right after you first fired up. All right, let's do it again here. Red, what you think? Is it, is it gonna stay running? Oh no, Daddy! I bet you it'll stall again! Well, maybe, maybe not. What's nice about that the the handlebars is I can I can put that choke on there and I can just walk away and I don't have to sit there and hold it. I don't. I wasn't even planning on that. I, it just happened to work out, work out that way when I put the new handlebars on there. So hey, looks like we got it running on two, on two starts. What do you think, Red? Oh yeah, Daddy. Yeah, Daddy. All right, we'll come over here and we'll turn that choke off and we'll give it some revs for you. Dummies, this is the 2021 Royal Enfield Himalayan. In gravel gray. I just love this bike. It's, it's so classy and, you know, I pull up in stop signs and stuff and in the parking lots and people are, what is that? What kind of bike is that? You know, and I, I have to explain it all to them, but all of us out here in the you know in the Himalayan community we know what these bikes are we know what they're all about anyways this is the head big cold-blooded dummy signing out later all you little gators out there <laughs>